Registration insurance with you. I don't know what your history is, 
So I'm not going to say yes or no. Depends on your history. Have a seat. You had tire suspension. Um, I did? Or does it say I don't? Yeah, it says you don't. Oh. Does it go away when you pay them off or something? No. Oh, I swear. I've gotten letters for it to be suspended before. That's why I told you it was, so. Yeah. Well, I don't know how many people tell me that they have multiple suspensions. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Oh. All right. After we use something, you have the right to remain silent. You have the right at this time to an attorney. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to an attorney before answering any questions. You have the right to have an attorney present during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you without cost if you so desire. You can exercise these rights at any time. Do you understand these rights? Yes. Yeah. After being informed of your rights, are you still willing to talk to me at this time? Yeah. Okay. So we'll get you. Done and out of here. You don't have any more weed in the car? No, not at all. It, what's in the trunk? Nothing, not at all. Nothing, nothing at all. At all. Rubber tables. 
Just jump her cable? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I just cleaned out my car yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and I got it last year, but I don't really keep it that messy. Okay. And there's no other weed in the car? Are there any pills in the car? Nope. Cocaine? Nope. Heroin? Nope. Uh, what else? Methamphetamine? No. No? Nothing? No, no, no exciting thing for you today. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Those things I can actually deal without. Okay, good. I, I would have no problem with not I would ever hope running into those. <laughs> I hope you haven't, and I hope you do. I don't run into all the time, I but you don't. <laughs> the rest of it, I hope I don't. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you for consent to search your car. Okay. Um, I'm going to read you a couple things. And then, uh, we'll get you out of here. You're not flashing anything in my car, are you? <laughs> no. All right. I'm trying to get comfortable. Yeah, that's not possible. Yeah, I think so. Only, the only people that can get comfortable in this car, or any police car is, anymore, uh, you got to be drunk. <laughs> yeah, really. That's the only possible way. Yeah, I have an itch on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> that is the only way to be comfortable and fall asleep in a police car. <sighs> what would happen if I didn't give you consent to search my car? Well. I'm just wondering. I would see if there's a canine dog available. Mm -hmm. See if they can um, sniff the car. And then uh, I would apply for a search warrant. Oh, and take it to my office and apply for a search warrant. Do you clean your cars every time you, like, pick up a nasty drunk dude back here? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then they spray it out. Yeah. All right, Mrs. Graham. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen is I'm going to read you this. It's a consent to search form made up by the Washington State Patrol. Um, you will find a little uh, case in my front console, and it has uh, three pills in it. Mm -hmm. uh, they are Percocet, and I have a prescription for them. But the prescription is at home, and I just keep a couple pills on me just in case my back starts hurting because I got in a car accident a few uh -huh. months ago. So 
So go in there. So what you're going to need to do is uh, I need you to uh, show me a valid prescription. That I don't have on me. I'm not right now. Oh. But you need to somehow get me a copy of the pill bottle. Um, how would I do that? Copy it and send it to me. Like, and when I, again. like when I go home or something? Once you're done. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I can do that. That way I don't have to charge you with a felon. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yep. All right, you got to understand that you have the right to refuse consent to search your car. Hold on. <laughs> then you have the right to limit the scope of the search to certain areas, and you have the right to withdraw the consent to stop the search at any time. Further, you have to understand that you have the right to refuse permission to make such search and require the officer to obtain a search warrant. I realize that any items found may be used as evidence against me in subsequent legal proceedings. I just have to make sure that your consent has been giving, given knowingly, freely, and voluntary without threats or duress against your persons or property or promise of reward. Is that true? Yes, sir. Okay. So what I'm having you is I'm going to have, because I did it audio with the camera, I'm not as worried about you signing it right this second. Um, once I let you out, then I'm going to ask you to sign it. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Are you willing to sign it and give me consent to search your car? Yes, sir. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll my, roll your window down a little bit. So if at any, any point you want to stop the search or limit me from going into certain areas, you can yell out the car and I can come and talk to you, okay? Actually, you're in handcuffs, so I'll have you come up. I'm what? I'm going to have you come out of the car okay. instead of doing that. Thank you. Yeah, I made sure I was watching my speed because I knew that you were behind me. <laughs> I, I don't think I went over more than 70. I mean, m any past. Yeah, you're doing 75 at one point, and then um, you sped up to about 72 after that motorcycle cop passed you.
You don't want to leave your title in your car. Yeah, I'm going to stand. Okay, within the middle of the green thing. Oh, yeah. 